Hey guys, Austin, and welcome to another episode of Minecraft Pixel on Season 2 here on the channel. And guys, last episode, if you missed it, we caught three new Pokemon adding to our squad. Actually, I think four more. We had Carbink, uh, Volbeat, Litten, and Wishy Washy, which is still the best name ever. But today, guys, we are going to be essentially taking on the gym leader that we have not fought in a while, Goku Black. We're going to see uh, how we amount to his skill these days. I know it's been a minute. One thing I did want to do, though, since we have multiple Entang now, is actually, instead of having two uh, different Pokemon here, I want to have two Entei, because he's the one that's here, likes Infernape. Okay, but Infernape's the one that doesn't get along. So let's give her Infernape and put in another Entei. And this says, likes Entei a bit more, likes Entei a bit more every day. I'm curious if we can get these two to mate. I know Tang Legendaries cannot have children, but because they're genderless, but I want I want to see if we can actually get this to work. That being said, though, guys, uh, welcome back to another Pixelmon excursion. If you guys have been enjoying, smash that like button. If we can get to a whopping, oh, I don't know, maybe five likes, I would greatly appreciate it. It would show you guys are enjoying the series. Um, I did want to head over to the bell. How's the bell doing? Still not ringing. Okay, that's fine. Um, what is, that's a mega, come here, Mawile. Come here, Mawile, Mega Mawile, let's fight you. Let's do some close combat on you, actually, because this should hurt you. You are Steel-type, yep. I got used to the new effects, too. I'm still not used to the uh, all the funny particle effects. And whatnot. All right, let's do extreme speed, try to wipe you out. Nope, it's going to get my Lucario. That's fine. Swamper, go up. Hammer arm. Go. Nice work. All right, and we actually got a Ferium Z, a Rare Candy, and a Mawilite, which is actually really good. Um, I'm super happy with that. Also, notice the size difference on our Entei here. <laughs> My newest one's giant, and then we have a baby Entei. That's okay, though. Um, last episode, you guys didn't comment if you want that you want me to switch out any of my Pokemon. It seems you guys are okay with my team right now. And that's always okay, but if I do get a higher IV Pokemon, I will probably make the decision myself to switch out some, because most of my Pokemon that I've got on my team are low IVs. Um, it probably is for the betterment of all mankind that we get a Pokemon with higher IVs. That being said, uh, I did want to make more Quick Balls, right? Yeah, I think I was making Quick Balls. So, Quick Ball Lids. Perfect. Head back up here. Uh, oh, wait. I actually don't need this on me. Oof. They won't do that. Okay, that's fine. I need to make a chest just for the, the Pixelmon stuff because that chest is starting to get a little bit crowded. Um, and I didn't want to throw these on the stamper. And now there's the Mega Lucario outside. Come here, my man. I like how he has his bone in his hand, too. Um, I mean, this is my Lucario versus his. You know the only way to do is close combat. I gotta prove that I'm better than him. Oh my gosh, and I am. Jeez. All right, go. Close combat once more. Yes. All right, what's he gonna drop? A Leftovers, a Lucario Knight, an Iron Ingot, and a Bone. One thing I did also want to do before we head off to fight against Goku Black is I wanted to um, I wanted to see if I could trade in any of these items. So right now I do have two Dan. Uh, wait, how do you say your name? I just watched the movie. It's Diancyite. Yeah, Diancyite. So I wanted to trade that in. Um, we have a ton of crystals. I don't know if you could trade those in though. I don't think you can. Uh, here, wait, I have to head back down here and throw this in here. Uh, in terms of items, I do have leftovers. I have two life orbs I can give her. Um, we have a ton of gems that we can honestly part with that we're not going to be using. Um, I'm pretty confident there. Steel gem, yep. Um, some Pokeballs too that we're probably never gonna use, like a nest ball, a, a, a net ball. Uh, I can't see anything. Oh wait, some dragon gems, yep. The plates, we're getting multiple, but I don't know exactly how valuable they will be to me. So I'm going to keep them. Um, dark gem, we got some Eviolites. Yeah, okay. So let's head over to the... Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? It's the desert shop. All right, desert people. Um, I see you don't have much stuff today, but Cell, I wanted to give you all my things all of the things indeed to try to get my money back up because for some reason it keeps glitching my money out so i wanted to get as much uh money back as i possibly could there we go 
Thank you. And it says, okay, now it is fixed. So it seems just every time I log back in, the money is just not there for whatever reason, but that's okay. It's no harm done really. Now, one thing I did want to do is like I said, go back to Goku Black's gym and let's fight. Oh wait, no, don't fight yet. Wait, go back to the pff, desert shop. Now that I have my money, I want to see what I can buy. Higher Beam Safe Card, Dream Eater, Mega Drain, definitely buying that one. Um, And let me just do the thing right now, right over here. I wish you could customly give the skins, like give all the skins out, if that makes sense. Like, you know, like they spo- oh, you can't do a DNC yet, apparently. I guess that somewhat makes sense. Oh, I have Giga Drains. I didn't even know I had those. But I wish I could make these skins random since they are just bots. Um, that you talk to. That's a diglet. Those are hip hop. Hippopotas, which we have actually. Oh, well, one wants to fight. I mean, why not? I don't think I have one yet. Let's catch it. And Goldine's still looking as low quality as possible. It's okay, one day, Goldine, you'll get there. Okay, so like I said, I wanted to see if I could teach Giga Drain to anyone. Not him. Swamper Killer? No. Surprising Tyranitar? No, and Charizard, I'm just realizing, is now a higher level than two of my Pokemon. Actually, he's higher level than... Yeah. All right, that's fine. Charizard, can you learn it? I doubt you could. Um, uh, oop. It's like lagging right now. Okay, Meloetta? Nope. And Rayquaza? Nope. And also Rayquaza leveled up. Meloetta is lowest on the food chain right now. Yeah, 58, so that's above these two right yeah okay so we can't use giga drains uh what about what do we have here rock climb and confide uh we can fight him i'm just gonna sell false swipe is definitely one that we are keeping uh steel wing i mean i know charizard can learn steel wing but what am i what, like what no rayquaza can you learn it no you can't you don't have wings but you know uh I'll keep it just in case I really do need it. Uh, Brine and Dragon Rage. Me do Dragon Rage first, because I know you can technically learn it, but you have Dragon Claw. Uh, Rayquaza. Can I cannot learn Dragon... Why can he not learn Dragon Rage? Can you, Lucario? Uh, Tyranitar, can you learn it? No. Okay, let's try Brine, because Brine's an interesting one. It, it's one that you, I can't really tell who I can teach it to. So liking how Rayquaza can't learn Dragon Rage because he's a Dragon type. I think that's just a glitch, honestly. But it's okay. Okay, yeah, none of them can learn these two. Let's try Incinerate and Wild Charge. Something tells me Rayquaza can learn those. Okay, Charizard can learn Incinerate, but your Flare Blitz is stronger already. And Wild Charge you can't learn. Lucario can learn neither. Rayquaza can learn Incinerate, but has Overheat. Uh, can't learn Wild Charge. Swampert, I wouldn't have expected to learn either. Uh, Tyrantar can learn Incinerate, but I'd have to get rid of one of his moves already. So I don't think I want to do that. Wild Charge, no. And then Meloetta, neither. All right, so all we have left is Waterfall, which I think, sir, sir, I think some of my Pokemon can learn Waterfall, actually. Swampert probably can. Yeah. I'm going to replace his Muddy Water with Waterfall just because that is a stronger thing. And I know HMs you can't technically get rid of, but just for fairness, I'm going to delete it. Because that, in my opinion, is uh, unfair that, like, he can just, you can infinitely teach that to Pokemon. I think they did get rid of that in the newer gens, but I could be wrong. Here, Cell Confide, there we go. This updated. <laughs> All right, buying a Psychic buying a water pulse and buying a stealth rock thank you and i will do that next time i look through all my pokemon i'll teach it to those teach try to teach them those moves um i like how it updated because it was nighttime every new every new day in pixelmon world uh the trainers do update their trades uh so yeah that's a thing but like i said goku black i gotta fight you with my new team because you haven't fought my rayquaza yet i don't think yeah, he hasn't fought my Rayquaza. Okay, let's do it, Goku Black. Let's see what you got. I also haven't fought his team in a minute, so... Right, he has his Cradilly and Lyperd. Alright, Mega Evolution's a thing. 
Let's go with a Flare Blitz on Lipard. And I remember I used to call it Leopard. It's Lipard. Goodness gracious me. Oh, oh, my Lucario's half hurt. I wasn't even paying attention to that. That's okay, though. Let's go with a Close Combat on Cradenly. Are we so charged? I was going to Mega Evolve. Looks like they updated the animation slightly for his Mega Evolution in this game. I could be wrong, though. He switches to his Raikou. I don't know if that was the best call. Your Raikou and Cradilly both took big damage. So Lucario's out from the brine. Charizard, I'm going to actually... Because I feel like winning this battle right now. I'm going to switch. I'm not I'm not going to do anything, but I'm going to max revive my Lucario. And I somehow automatically threw him back out because of that. That's okay. Uh, I don't think that's supposed to happen, but I'm going to... Actually, I don't think I need to Flare Blitz. I'm going to Dragon Claw that, and then I'm going to have you once again use... I'm going to have you use Extreme Speed, actually, because that should make you... Yep. That didn't kill it, did it? That didn't kill it. My Charizard's out now. Crap. All right. Um, Extreme Speed one more time on Cradilly. Yep, that'll wipe out Cradilly. Oh, no, he withdrew it and sent out Raichu. And because of Static, I'm now paralyzed, but I'm still hanging on. All right, Lucario. I don't know why I can't throw out another Pokemon, though. I think it glitched because I revived Lucario. That's okay. Um, close combat on Raikou, please. If you can. Nope. Yeah, it glitched. Okay. Poke heal. Well, if I just used a revive then for no reason. Because I max revived my Pokemon that just died. It thought that was my last Pokemon. Instead of me having my full team. All right. Let's try that again, shall we? Uh, redo, if you will. So I'm going to do things exactly how I did. Flare Blitz on Lightbird. And then close combat on Cradilly. Why didn't I give Lucario his Lucario? I don't I have that. Oh my gosh, that Pokemon. I need that Pokemon. That's the that's the that's the thing that evolves into Kamo, whatever it's called, from Gen 7. That's also a pseudo legendary, I believe. Alright, Raiko Exoda Pressure, doesn't matter. Flare Blitz hits and close combat hits more than it did last time, which is perfect. Alright, once again I'm gonna flare blitz Raiko and extreme speed Cradilly. So Switches into his Seismitoad, his shiny Seismitoad. That's a good look at his new Pokemon. Raikou's out, though. Um, he has now sent out his Raichu, and I, of course, got the nice um, level up, at least. Okay, so Charizard, I'm going to have you still Flare Blitz Raichu. And then Lucario, I'm going to have to ask you to close combat Seismitoad and see how this goes. Lucario's out, okay? Hurt himself with confusion and bubble. Of course it knows bubble, all right? Oh, I think it is glitched right now because it thinks these are my only two Pokemon. Like, here, wait a minute. Yeah, I'm going to switch to my Rayquaza. Yeah, Battler has occurred. Check the console, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Yeah, I'm seeing what's wrong. For some reason, the double battles aren't working in this new version. I'm sure they're going to release a patch soon then. To fix that, I'm sure they're probably going to... Or if they haven't done it already. So I'm going to go home and pretend like that battle never even took place. Even though I used a revive. It's okay. Sorry about that, guys. I didn't know the uh, thing was glitched right now. But that's okay. I did get a level up for my Lucario, which... I'm now questioning why I haven't given him as a Mega Stone. Because I do have that now, right? Yeah. I must have just got... That must be the first time I've gotten a Lucario bite. That has to be the only explanation. Now, the problem is I can evolve, I can Mega Evolve 3 of my Pokemon. Uh, do I have a Swampertite? Probably not. I feel like I would have uh, used it by now. No, I don't. Well, that's just kind of funny because now I have three Pokemon that can Mega Evolve in battle. Uh, I guess that's okay. Also, I've noticed the wheat is almost done. I'll give it another day or two to finalize. I did want to head back over, though, to the Goku Black Gym because that, that Pokemon was there. It might not be there anymore. But let's go and check anyway, avoiding the car bank at all costs. Uh, one thing I did want to see if I increase the render distance. I was going to say increase my render distance, but if I do that, if a legendary spawns within the render distance, it'll be further away. That being said, though, I think I do want to increase my render distance slightly. Just to, I'll up it to 14 for now. The only reason I ever had the render distance low to begin with in Pixelmon was because back in the day it was very laggy and I'm still hesitant now to increase it. Um, but, oh, speaking of Lucario, there's a Mega Lucario right there. 
I guess since we're over here, we might as well fight it. It's a legendary one at that. All right, Lucario. Let's show this Lucario what you're made of. Mega Evolve and Close Combat. He looks so cool as a Mega Evolution. When I first saw Mega Lucario, that was one of the first Megas I saw. I was like, holy crap, that looks amazing. All right, go Mega Lucario. Show him what you're made of. Yep, one shot. See, and I got the Adamant Orb. I, wait, did I already have the Adamant Orb or did I have the Lustrous Orb? Either way, that's for Dialga and Palkia. It's very good that we got that, but what's funny is, um, uh, here, wait, is Mega Lucario, I'm pretty sure is weak to himself. Like, like, Mega Lucario becomes weak to fighting types. Meanwhile, he is a fighting type, which is hilarious. And I've never broken that dirt, apparently. Um, it's just kind of a funny thing. Oh, there's a Drifloon. Oh, no, I don't think this Pokemon's here anymore, Drat. That sucks. One thing I did want to go to, though, is the Desert Hills. And the reason why I want to go here is see if the, uh, they change the spawn rate of the unknown. I just want to have an unknown spawn. Can that, can we please, like, ha get an unknown to spawn in? I beg. I beg. But. Oh, wait, what's this? Hello? Oh, it's a Gibble. Okay. Quick ball. I don't think I've seen a Gibble yet spawn. Maybe it couldn't even spawn before. No, Gibble had to have been in the game before. All right, well, switch to Charizard. Uh, yeah, you can survive that. You're a strong Pokemon, Charizard. False swipe. There we go. And it is nighttime, so balls, Dusk Ball, which I have 60 of still. And let's catch this Gibble. I will definitely... Yep, yeah, perfect. If he is decent... Oh, Mega Houndoom, yes. If, uh, if this Gibble... That just caused decent IVs. I am definitely replacing a um, my. Well, it would be Rayquaza I would have to replace. We'll see. Because Rayquaza's IVs are. Wait. IVs. Because he's a legendary. He has to have high IVs on my team. Yeah, he's not. Never replacing my Rayquaza. What am I saying? All right. Um, Mega Houndoom. I'm going to have. To, well, you're a dark type. What are you. Dark Fire. Mega Houndoom looks... I remember when I first saw Mega Houndoom also, I was like, that's not real. That's just... It doesn't even... Like, I did not think... Some, You know how, like, when Mega Evolution first became a thing and all your friends were talking about it? Like, wow, this is so... He just one-shot in my... Anyway, you know, people were like, yeah, this is such a sick uh, thing. And you're just looking at it like... I don't know about you, but I don't believe this one bit. Like, oh, right. Ghost isn't good against him. But yeah, like... Mega Evolution was such like a weird concept because you're like, there's no way this is a real thing. When you first saw him, you're like, yeah, this is so fake. There's no way. But now people are like, we need more Mega Evolution. More Mega Evolution. I don't know why I wasn't using Earthquake. And nice animation for Earthquake. <laughs> Can we just have Earthquake destroy the ground around me, please? And I just got a Duskstone Shard from that. That's pretty cool. Uh, again, with the Megas. You know, I was looking at the config file and it says the Mega Pokemon have like a one in... It's like a 0.03 chance of spawning. I don't believe that one bit. Um, they're pretty common. I actually kind of want to change lower that spawn rate because it seems way too common. By the way, Ice Beam much. I was like, what can I use against him? He's the dragon type. I'm using Ice Beam. By the way, I have no good fairy type. But, like, I don't have any Pokemon that can know a fairy type move. I know Meloetta can, but I don't have a TM. That was a lot of damage. That wasn't a lot of damage. Okay, this might actually be a problem. Rayquaza, use your dragon move. Never mind, you just got wiped. Uh, Swampert, use your moves. He's destroying with that dual chop. That is insane. All right, last Pokemon, Meloetta. Teeter Dance, please. Yes, it's confused. It's still got its move off. Uh, Stone Edge? Oh my gosh. I just lost a Mega Garchomp. Yeah, no, uh, I'm heading back home now. Yeah, that that was a thing. Um, heal. Everyone. I can't believe I just lost a Mega Garchomp. I mean, I've defeated Mega Garchomp before, right? Like, I have a Mega Stone for Garchomp, don't I? Uh... Don't do this to me. Wait, are you telling me I don't have a Mega Garchomp bite? Or a Garchomp bite, or whatever you call it? I don't... I have apparently never defeated Mega Garchomp. Or either that, or it just, um... 
I've just never gotten its mega stones a drop. Why'd I heal again? Uh, I want to sleep because I'm trying to rapidly change the days because I want there to be a chance of me getting the thing again. I, I mean, I want to get hoed to spawn so I can just catch it already. Okay, it is morning. Ante spawned the extreme hills, but hi Ante, you're not what I wanted. <laughs> you're really not what I wanted, Ante. Um, I'm not using my master ball on it, but I'll try it. I'll still go for it. Uh, Pokeballs, quick ball, go. All right, do not switch to whatever you do. Do not switch to, um, here, I'm just going to use close combat. Don't kill it. Okay, that was good. Okay, perfect. Now switch Pokemon. Can't switch. Why can't I? Okay, you know what? Fine. If I can't switch, I'll just throw an Ultra Ball at you. Kill my Lucario. It's fine. I need to switch Charizard, Mega Evolve Charizard, and then just don't switch Tyrantar, whatever you do. Okay, Charizard, Mega Evolve, False Swipe. Maybe I should teach False Swipe to a second Pokemon just so I have it. I know Rayquaza can learn it. But do I really want to use my Rayquaza for catching Pokemon? Like, I feel like that's insulting him. Hello, Mega Latios or Latios. I still can't tell the difference between them. All right. He has been false swiped down to one HP. Pokeballs. Ultra Ball. Go. I just cannot click the Master Ball. Listen, listen, Entei. You, you just get in the Pokeball. I have how many of you? Do you want proof? Like, I have so many of you in both this game and Pokemon Go. Like, it's ridiculous. Can you just understand that I deserve just another one? I deserve 100%. Okay, Ante, come on. It's a 2% catch rate. Yeah, I know it's a 2% catch rate, but it, it should also realize I have him. Like, I'm pretty sure in Pokemon Go, like, how it works is if you have caught the Pokemon before, it increases the chance of you catching the next one. From my experience, normally if it's a Pokemon you've never caught before, it's substantially more difficult to catch. But here, it's every time. What happened? <laughs> Why am I not in? Uh, uh. Well, apparently it forced me out of the fat. Here, you know what? I can't. Wait. Charger, come back. And take... You know what I think of you right now? You know what I'm thinking of you? You know what I'm thinking of you? Come here, Chirantar. No, 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 Entei. No, no, Entei. You know what I'm thinking of you? I'm just, I'm just a little bit upset with you, Entei. Just a tiny bit upset. So upset that I'm going to kill you for, for your stuff. I don't... <laughs> well, I need to leave this area. What other legendaries can spawn in the extreme hills? Somebody tell me. Tell me it's not just Entei. I know other Pokemon can spawn. Rayquaza can spawn here. That's how I call my Rayquaza, right? Why is it just Entei spawning here? I need to relocate, apparently. Um, well, Styrantar is better than Charizard in HP. Why was I not paying attention to that? Uh, and, yeah. I need to... Oh, I don't mean to do that. Those can go there, and then you guys can go there, and then this can all go there. Oh yeah, I have had an Abbott Orb already. What else do I want to do? Um, here, I'm just going to do a once around really quickly on Charizard, because I want to see if, uh, I just want to see if any Ultra Spaces spawned, or whatever they're called, around the area. I mean, I've been here for a minute, so I don't know how they work. If they can only spawn over the ocean, or if they are just random in any spot in the entire world. Obviously, that's the spawn near you, but... See, I feel like because I just installed a new version of Pixelmon, that's why that one spawned. I think. I doubt it was just sheer, like, oh, this is the chance of it spawning, so it spawns. Um, one thing I do want to do, though, before I end off this video is obviously check the IVs of the white Pokemon. First, let's fight the ultimate trainer one time. See how we do. Okay, Arceus. I'm gonna Mega Evolve and then close combat. And this should, if he doesn't switch, hurt him a lot. But let's see what he's got. He used Earth Power and immediately wrecked me. Okay, Tyrantar, you're up. Okay, so Thunder Wave. Yep, I should survive that. I thunder waved and paralyzed him with the sandstorm. Now let's ice beam him. Oh no, he got me. Alright, Charizard, you're up. 
Flare Blitz. See, the problem is he can... He hits like a truck, Arceus. Like, he's no joke. Okay, Rayquaza. Show that you're the mightier legendary. Use Overheat. Cannot move. Perfect. Now use Dragon Rage. Or Dragon Pulse, I mean. Perfect. Overheat again. Nope. All right, Swamper, you're up. Hammer Arm. Stream speed hits, but I should get him. Yep, and he switches to his Rayquaza. Okay. Swampert and Meloetta both leveled up from that, but we have another issue. Rock Slide. Oh, it can Mega Evolve. Oh, no. I have to fight a Mega Evolve. Now I feel like I'm just in the Hoopa movie. Okay, ow. You know, that's a beautiful thing behind you, Ultimate Trainer. Like, do you know how beautiful that Pokemon is? That's a very beautiful Pokemon. Meloetta, come here and help. Teeter Dance. Nope, it was not letting that happen. Okay. Uh... Yeah, I've been put in my place. I'm going to go back home and cry about it. Uh, not really, though, because we did defeat his Arceus. It took five of my Pokemon to defeat his... Wow, I really am like the final uh, battle that Ash was in whenever he fought in the Championship League in um, Diamond and Pearl. Because the last person he fought, it took five of his Pokemon to take down the first Legendary, which was a Darkrai. And then his last Pokemon got wrecked by the next one. Um, but that being said... Uh, good job for leveling up my Swampert, I guess. And then Meloetta is now the same level as Rayquaza, which means Rayquaza is the weakest in terms of HP. But what I did want to do is come here, my two new Pokemon. IVs, if this somehow is 100% IVs, I swear. 41. Okay, and Gibble, 51. I had high hopes, but neither of you are really up to stuff compared to my other Pokemon. Because if I do IVs... Five, year 80. I could have honestly got a better Meloetta. IVs, six, and IVs. No, no, I only have two legendaries. I still want Darkrai on my team. Guys, all right, so here's what's going to happen. Next episode, I'm going to put Darkrai on my team. Um, vote which Pokemon you want me to replace Darkrai with. Like, replace four Darkrai. Um, otherwise, I will probably just make my own decision because I want Darkrai on my team so badly. If anything, I'm probably getting rid of Tyranitar for him. Or I'll get rid of Swampert. No, I'll either get rid of Charizard, Tyranitar, Swampert. I might get rid of Meloetta. If you guys can convince me to get rid of Meloetta, I might get rid of Meloetta for Darkrai. But next episode, Darkrai is getting put on the team for sure. And we'll do like a test run for him. Hopefully, I'll remember to do that. But that being said, though, guys, that's going to conclude today's episode. I hope you all... I don't know why I was doing my outro outside. Hope you all have enjoyed. And I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.